All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's head back to the Himalayan. Okay, let's see what we got. And since getting this bike last year, I have 526 miles total. I intend to put a lot more this year. Uh, we're still in neutral, we're still hooked up. And uh, let's see if we can get it started. Oh, still not enough juice. Okay, we'll wait a few. Meanwhile, um, I'll take you guys here on a quick tour of this 1976 Travco L'Esprit. That name is a mouthful, but yeah, this is uh, a Travco L'Esprit motorhome, Class C. That is built on a Dodge one ton uh, chassis. Uh, it was built by a company called Avion. And I believe it's it was based out of uh, Wisconsin. So uh, let's start with the exterior, then we go inside. So as you can see, it's actually 22 feet long. Um, it has different configurations inside depending on the options you choose uh, I got some damage here when I use the pressure washer when you have the very old uh, plastics you got to be careful with them pressure washer just breaks them up it has this fiberglass shell and uh, yeah these were very well built and uh, back in the day these were considered to be premium RVs. It's got uh, dual tires in the back. Uh, the engine is a 440 cubic inch V8. I believe they also had uh, some Dodge models with a 318 cubic inch V8. So these ones, uh, the Travco L'Esprit, they came with the 440. Uh, thoughts after more than 40 years I would say this still looks okay uh, the paint is a little faded it might need a uh, fresh coat of paint but underneath surprisingly this unit is not too rusty the tires uh, seem to be okay they have good thread but I think they are um, a bit older so they might need to be updated at some point all right let's take a look here inside uh, you have a light over there that would uh, shine where, where the passenger will step out that's what the door looks like here is the latch to open up the door and then of course uh, the engine you have two ways of accessing the engine one is through here and then you could also open up the hood and access the engine uh, it's kind of tight i have a lot of stuff here but what you do is you unlatch here and you also unlatch on the driver's side and then this whole unit pulls back it's very light um here you have an ashtray back in the day everybody smoked uh they were doing some work in here so the carpet on the, the front in the front has been pulled and that was <laughs> a an aftermarket stereo it still it works but um i think it could, it could have been mounted better on top you have a compass you have a mirror and then you have the little clip for your night shades you have one here and you have one on the driver's side in here you have the uh, glove compartment and you can see some controls inside little box uh leg room here is not the greatest it's kind of tight if you guys can see 
but the seats are very plush and comfortable and directly above you you have that little berth where you can sleep all right we got the dual mirrors that allow for easy towing these are the indicator lights right there sportsman uh the other way you can access the engine is by releasing the hood as you can see this unit has 69,000 original miles and it drives like it has 69,000 here you have the seat controls uh it swivels you can spin it all the way around And to lock it in place, I believe you push down. It needs some adjustment, but that's what you do. You push down and it's, it should lock in place. Uh, this is for the backrest. So that's the driver's uh, seat. Gear indicator, gear position indicator is right here. And your emergency flasher is this tiny little button right here. Uh, stick you pull it out and you push it in climate control and you have some vents all right let's see if the hood is open and uh, there should be a hood release latch somewhere here if i could find it right here so there you have the battery and then you have the radiator radiator over uh, overflow tank right here and I believe that's the dryer for the AC and your oil deep uh, your oil fill stick I think is this one right here there's one for the transmission on in the uh, inside the cab and there you can see your alternator and a few engine parts ac compressor uh a little bit tight up front here but yeah everything is there power steering reservoir it's somewhere down there hidden if you can see it's kind of dark but it's somewhere there right there brake booster uh dot three i believe it takes dot three hydraulic fluid this one should be a bit low but uh, i'll be topping it off today so that's the brake you can see the components quite beefy all right uh, i'll take you guys inside real quick um right here in this compartment <laughs> You have your propane indicator is right there and we tried the propane the other day it works you turn it on before you use it of course uh, this is fiberglass it's still holding strong uh, we come back here there used to be i think uh, a furnace or something here but now it's replaced with uh, uh plywood here is for your water guys can see this i'm not so sure maybe it's just a grab handle with a light we come back here you have the spare tire and then you have the hitch and uh hook up for water shore water when you're packed in an rv park that's where you hook up your water continue around this is where you have your power cable it's kind of nasty in there <laughs> sorry yeah. and that's your power here is where you put your gas here is some vents for the furnace i believe <laughs> oh hot water heater no yeah the furnace this is where the generator used to be 
it, it used to be uh it uses an onan generator but uh this one is long gone and then of course here you have your battery pack right now it's just this single uh battery it's already quite old so it will need to be replaced all seven all right and above here i just let all the units stay open that way uh they get dried out and here you have your hot water heater you can see the thermocouple to keep it lighted all right so that's for the exterior i'll take you guys now inside for a view of what the interior looks like uh just remember this is more than 40 years old it's from 1976 so you open up the door that's what the interior looks like i have the screens they're somewhere inside hinge for the door it has a little uh lip up there to prevent water dripping inside from the roof uh you got the two steps to get inside and as soon as you get in the first thing you notice is that there's this closet right here you press the button and there's a closet here you got the two light switches and this holds the door in place like so all right when you get in there's a panel right here for your power panel off on water pump battery condition gas holding tank so all of this uh it works when everything is turned on but it's not giving accurate information so it still needs to be uh, cleaned up and everything set so this is the interior i haven't really cleaned it out uh this turns into a sleeper you know lift it up and then you pull out and underneath you can see the tank and the inverter right there that's the hot water tank all right let's get this back up ah there so it's just one big open living space here as you guys can see with storage cabinets on top and then you have uh, the space on top where you can make a bed maybe for three little kids or two little kids this is still in pretty good condition considering since it didn't have uh, I would say water ingress so you have those little rails for uh, blinds go all the way around and uh back here you have the sink oops close the check <laughs> and then here you have the range of course four place with the oven more storage more storage and even more storage uh, you have the roof ac unit with heat works very perfectly uh, there's a fuse panel in here and this is the control for your generator which for us is absent but the one that was there you can see the number of hours it had on there you could turn it you could start it right here from the cab from inside all right and uh, i'll show you guys now behind there is uh the toilet on the left little sink and the shower right here the vent above uh, no light and then there's a little space there where you can sit when uh have taking your shower and this is the back of the of the unit as you guys can see that's the door you get in and that's the back all right uh if there's oh one last thing i forgot to show you guys here is the fridge 
it's actually oh let me get it in focus as you can see it's gas electric pretty nice that's what it looks like those are the controls we haven't fired this one up yet hopefully it works because it just fits uh, perfectly in this in this position all right thanks for watching guys more storage here and uh hopefully i'll see you guys on the road with this unit